This is lesson 57 on division. Let's look how to do long division in binary. In decimal we could divide 135 by 13. You remember how you do it. You see if 13 goes into 13, 1. You bring down the 13, subtract 13 minus 13, you get 0. Bring down the next digit 5. In here it doesn't go in at all, so you put 0. You have a 0 you could subtract, so the remainder is 5. So 135 divided by 13 is 10 with the remainder 5. Let's see how to do that in binary. Well, you do long division the same way. Here's the 13, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. And here is the binary 135. It's 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. So you see how many times does 1, 1, 0, 1 go into 1? Well, no, you've got to keep moving over. 1, 0, 0, 0, it doesn't go in. So finally, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. How many times does it go in? Well, it's binary, so it can only be 0 or 1. So it goes in 1. So you bring down the 1, 1, 0, 1. Let me line it up here. And now you subtract. So 0 minus 1 would be 1 and a borrow. 0 minus 1 is 1 and a borrow. 0 minus 1 is 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 minus 1 minus the borrow is 0. And there's the borrow. So you end up getting a 3 and then you bring down the next one. How many times does 1, 1, 0, 1 go into 1, 1, 1? Well, 0. So you multiply by 0. You subtract this to get 1, 1, 1. Bring down the next one. How many times does 1, 1, 0, 1 go into here? Well, 1. 1 times 1, 1, 0, 1 is 1, 1, 0, 1. Do the subtraction. You get 1, 0. Bring down the next one. This goes in here zero times, so you have one more subtraction, and we're done. So sure enough, 135 in binary divided by 13 in binary is 10 in binary, with 5 as a remainder. So that's long division in binary. Now we want to see how we can uh, try to make a circuit to do that. So here is the algorithm in a little different way. Here's the long division we just did. And what we're going to do is we're basically going to do this long division, but instead of shifting these bits right, we're going to you know, shift the, the um, dividend here left, which is the same thing. So we start by putting the, the dividend, the 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. We're going to put that into N1 and N2. N1 is 5 bits and N2 is 0 bits. And then we're going to shift this concatenated um, registers, N1 and N2, left 1 bit. So we've already done that. So the 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 is the 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. And we've shifted this 0 in. So we've shifted left, and we're going to put the divisor 1101 1, 1, in this D register, 01101. 1, 1, 1. So there's the divisor, also 5 bits. Now, if N1 is greater than or equal to N2, then we're going to subtract D from N1 and put the result in N1. So N1 is N1 minus D because it's bigger. So this minus this is the 3. That's the 3 we had here. And any time you do the subtraction, then we set bit N2 sub 0 to 1. So we put the 1 in there. So we've, we've subtracted N1 minus D. That goes into N1. And we add the 1 to N0. And then we shift left again. We're going to repeat this process. So we're going to shift this left one bit. So this one goes to here. This one goes to here. One, 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 one. And we shift a zero in. So we've just shifted this, these two, N1 and N2, left one bit. D is, remains the same. Now we see, is this greater than or equal to this? No, it isn't. So we don't subtract now and we just shift again. So this, these bits here get shifted over. That one goes to here. 
this one goes to here. So we've just shifted over again one bit. Now we check to see if n1 is greater than or equal to d. It is in this case. So we subtract this number minus this number is going to give the 2. That's the 2 we have over here, you see. And we add a 1 to n2 sub 0. So we set n2 sub 0 to 1. And then we do it again. We shift left and we shift left uh, one bit and now this 5, again we could put the D down here but now since D is greater then we don't shift and I mean, we don't subtract so now we're done and sure enough the quotient now ends up in N2 that's the quotient 10 you see it ends up here in N2 and the remainder ends up in the lower four bits of N1. So that's how it works. Now we can summarize it in this pseudocode here. What we do is we store the numerator in the concatenation of N1 and N2, as shown here, and we store the denominator in D. Then, since it's a four bits, we repeat four times, shift N1, N2, left one bit. Right? That's what we've done here. If n1 is greater than or equal to d, then n1 is n1 minus d, and n2, 0, gets set to 1. And then we just repeat that four times, and when we're done, as we saw, the quotient ends up in n2, and the remainder ends up in n1, 3 down to 0. Okay, so that is the algorithm. Now, there's a potential problem, as you might see. What suppose that this was our 8-bit numerator, 10110101, and suppose we divide by 8. Dividing by 8 is easy because that's just shifting 3 bits to the right, so we can see the answer by inspection. If we shift this uh, dividend here 3 bits to the right, we get 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, and the three bits that fell off, the 1, 0, 1 is the remainder. But look, this, this quotient doesn't fit in four bits. Well, it doesn't fit in four bits be, be, because before we did the shift, the high four bits of the numerator here was already greater than 8. This is 11, which is greater than 8. So, in this case, we're going to get sort of a, uh, an overflow of the quotient, since the quotient doesn't fit into 4 bits, so we won't get the correct answer. So this is a problem, and we need to figure out how to solve it. Well, here's how you solve it. You have to do this 4-bit division twice. And here's how it works. Here's what we want to do. Here's the numerator. Here's the divisor, and we know what the answer is. Well, what you do is you first take a zero numerator high. So the numerator high is 1011. So you put the 1011 here, and you put leading zeros. Well, now, since zero is definitely less than 8, we know this will work for our 4-bit divider that we had. So if we just shift this 3 bits to the right, you can see what the answer is. This is going to be the quotient of 1, this 4-bit 1 will fit in the quotient easily, and the remainder is 0, 1, 1, or 3. So that's what's going to come out of here. Quotient high will be 0, 0, 0, 1, and the remainder high is 0, 1, 1. Now, you take the remainder high now, and you make that the high 4 bits of a new numerator. That's going to be here, remainder high concatenated with numerator low. Numerator low was the 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So here's our new numerator. Now we know this will work for our 4-bit division because 0, 0, 1, 1 has to be less than the 8, otherwise it wouldn't be a remainder. And so we can shift this one 3 bits to the right to see what the answer is, and you see you'll get 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and the remainder will be this 1, 0, 1. So quotient low, then, is 0, 1, 1, 0. Remainder low is the 
one zero one and now you just piece the answers together the final quotient 8-bit quotient that we're looking for is just quotient high that we got up here 0, 0, 0, 1, concatenated with quotient low 0, 1, 1, 0, and the remainder is the remainder low 1, 0, 1. so here is how you can do an 8-bit divided by a 4-bit to get an 8-bit quotient and a 4-bit remainder and this will be very useful and in the next lesson we'll see how to implement uh, this divider in BHDL.